Hello, I'm Adam Volker, a creative director at Flight School Studio. We are making a game called Creature in the Well, a small indie title you may not have heard of. In Creature in the Well, you play as Bot C, the last remaining engineer of the Robot Collective. Your goal is to save the town of Mirage from an unrelenting sandstorm by repowering an ancient weather machine that has been dormant for centuries thanks to an ominous creature. The game plays as a top-down adventure hack and slash, but its core mechanics are inspired by pinball, breakout, and other ball-related games. It's weird, I know, let me explain. In the game, you explore sprawling dungeons room by room. Visualize each of them as a small circuit board. The puzzles challenge the player's ability to catch, charge, and shoot the ball quickly and accurately. Each time you hit a bumper with orbs, you collect energy, which is shown in the top left corner of the screen. You will use this energy to unlock doors and upgrade your character to further progress to the game. Creature in the Well contains eight handcrafted, bespoke, super duper unique dungeons, each with their own theme and visual style. No one has touched the machine in ages, so the creature has had a lot of time to tinker and set traps for you to overcome. Some are action focused, challenging your reflexes, while others test your logic and puzzle solving abilities. Sometimes even, the creature will attempt to stop you itself. Creature in the Well is full of secrets. Everything you find gives you a glimpse into what happened to the machine. There are 12 cosmetic capes and 16 different weapons split into chargers and strikers. My personal favorite is the ax. It splits a single ball into multiple, allowing you to hit your targets more easily. The hammer slows down time, allowing to get your volleys times just